How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is Odie Matthews. Welcome back to my channel. On this website, we like to call www.let'sbrewsomecoffee.com slash youtube.edu. And today, we are going to take a look at the packed travel coffee kit. Let's get into it. Okay, so I just want to say uh, thank you to Emma and the entire pack team, as well as Malcolm, uh, for sending this over to me to review. So they sent this uh, to me, so I got this for free. So this is, um, I did not pay for this, but it's going to be a completely honest, 100% transparent review on what I think of this product. I'm super excited though, because this completes the lineup of packed products for me. Now I have their duffel, their travel backpack, and now their coffee kit. So I'm super excited. If you're interested in the other packed products, so this right off the top, I'm a big fan of packs. I really love them. I took a, I took a gamble on buying their duffel bag. I'm not really a duffel bag person, but I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's try it out. Let's see what the fuss is about. And I immediately fell in love with it. And then I got you know the, the travel backpack between uh, Packed and Chase Reeves came out to Indigo. Immediately backed that. Got it. Was not disappointed. So if you're looking for some really solid bags, including duffel or travel backpack, I gotta say Packed is probably one of my new favorites. That travel backpack. The more I got to use it, the more I started to like it. So definitely phenomenal. But let's see how the coffee kit holds up to their bags. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say about this is it is a little big. You've got a nice hard shell case. You've got a nice little uh, little pop out thing here. That's the reason for that. We'll, we'll get into all of this. But this is a little big, right? So for some of us, this might if we're not super minimal packers as it is, you know, if you're already packing your bag out to the extreme this might not be something that easily fits in there. Okay, so if you take their travel backpack, for instance, right, uh, you got those two different dividing sides. And this is a 30-something liter bag, can't remember off the top of my head. Um, this would ease, this easily fits in their bag at the bottom. It fits um, on the side of their bag. Same with the pack duffel. This does fit in bags, but the question you've got to ask yourself is how much space are you willing for it to take up? So if you look in their bag here, right? Like I said, this thing, it'll fit nicely at the bottom here, and it still has plenty of room for a packing cube or anything else. Same with on this side, it will fit down at the bottom. It can fit up on the side, and you can easily still have plenty of room. But like I said, this thing does take up quite a bit of space. One way of looking at this is this might take up that extra pair of shoes, right? Or maybe it might take up that extra small packing cube. Honestly, the thing's about the same size as like the uh, small peak design packing cube that I sometimes will use. Now for those of us, and this is kind of how I travel, for those of you that watch my videos, it's you know one packing cube, a dop kit, and a tech pouch, maybe a pair of packable shoes. I've got a new favorite, I'm really excited to share those with you soon. And then you know this would easily still fit in my bag. For me personally, I'm not taking a lot. But you want to keep that in mind if you are bringing a lot that this does take up a lot of room. The other thing is it's a little heavy, right? So for some of us, the weight of the bag, the weight of what we're taking is very important. It's very crucial. This comes in about a roughly four pounds. I think it's like 3.8, four pounds, somewhere in that range. And it is kind of heavy. This, this could easily weigh down your bag, especially if it's sitting at the bottom of your bag. That's going to make it a little bit heavier. And for some of us, you know, we want to go as light as possible. We want to have the lightest bag, we want to have the lightest carry packable stuff we can get because we want the lightest load and this might add a little bit too much weight. Okay, so here's what we have. We have the Packed One box. I love the way that Packed packs their boxes. It says, congratulations, now great coffee goes wherever you go. Travel home, office. Um, just really cool, like all the different design sketches of how what they went through with the prototypes and everything of getting this thing off the ground. I love Packed when it comes to their packaging because they do eco-friendly, no plastic, nothing that is harmful to the environment. I mentioned this before, we're for an environmental company. It's super solid for me. So what do you have in the actual kit, right? So like I said, you have this nice hard shell. You open this up, right? Oh, here we go. And you get, this is the whole loadout in the hard shell. On one side of this, you've got the coffee filters, where like this little place that you can kind of store stuff behind and on the other side you have the whole rig. Now, if you are going to get this, it does come with, and I thought this was really cool, it does come with a reusable filter, this little metal one. I've used it a couple times. It is a pretty solid reusable uh, little coffee filter, kind of easy to clean. It smells like my coffee. This is not bad. So you have this, it comes with it, but I went out and I got some uh, paper filters, some extra paper filters. Having these on backup, not, not necessarily a bad 
idea. But comes with the reusable, doesn't hurt to go out, and it has um, instructions on what size and stuff to get. So it does come with plenty of coffee filters to choose from, which is a must, obviously, because you kind of need them. I need the coffee filter. All right, so the rest of this rig, I'm just gonna pull this out. The whole shaboodle is in these two things, right? So this is your base that plugs in. This thing sets right on it like that. You have a little power button here. And then this kinda it does a rushing nesting doll type thing. So inside, right, this is mainly what you're gonna get. So you have a little pull that, that comes off. That's your lid. We'll get into all this. But you have a pull tab and then basically these three things are going to become the main part of whatever it is you're brewing. Your, your whole coffee thing is, 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 is gathered in these three items right here. What you have here, this, this little thing with the pull tab, this little silicone pull tab, this is where you keep your coffee ground, right? And then also in this, up against where that groove is, is where the scoop goes, right? So this is your little travel companion. I found, with using this, I have a um, coffee grinder, right? Did it for 20 seconds, nice and fine, 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 oh my gosh, nice and fine coffee. Is that just, am I losing, losing my, my mind? I'm losing my mind. I found four scoops of this basically does a good cup of coffee for me. I did five and it was just, it was strong, not bad, but I think you can get a good solid with four scoops, you can probably get a good solid three maybe four cups of coffee out of this, depending on you know how you're doing, where you're going, but you might be bringing a whole bag of coffee with you if this is something you bring with you because a bag of coffee might not take up that much room, depending on how you're packing and how you're traveling. So nice little thing here with the silicone pull tab because it fits inside the other one, and this one fits in this one. So the coffee ground container is pretty awesome. It's phenomenal, honestly. It does its job perfectly. I really like the little spoon for it. But the one that it fits into, right, you have, this is your coffee mug. And this thing, I've been using this around the house. So I've been using this twice a day since I got it, right? Just, just using the heck out of it. I, have, I do, do a cup in the morning before work. I do a cup in the evening because coffee really isn't my caffeine source. It's just something I like to drink. It just... It makes me feel good, it like releases something in me that just like, I feel like I, I don't know, just peaceful, peaceful release kind of thing. I don't know, it's weird. But I've been finding this is my favorite coffee cup. I don't, we don't have coffee cups really. We have two tin coffee cups from Canada from when we went a couple of years ago. But this is a phenomenal coffee cup. The coffee stays warm for a good amount of time. It's sealed, it's got the silicone on the outside and it has this traveler mug, nothing crazy, nothing flippy, just a nice little lid that fits perfectly on the coffee cup and you have a nice little just a nice little travel companion coffee cup honestly just a really really well done coffee cup right and that that's the simple part of it now we're gonna get into the, like the big part of it right so this is got a really cool mechanism this is where your coffee filter sits this fits on top of your coffee cup and this is where you're gonna do your pour over method this has a nice little collapsible thing to it right so collapses down and you fill it up and turn to the right and it stays upright and that's where your coffee filter goes when it's on top of the coffee cup then you just pour your water over that and you got your pour over coffee going it's a nice little mechanism especially since it does this little collapsible 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 I said that way too many times. Uh, I'm not gonna edit it out either. Has this nice little collapsible thing going on here. Makes it a really nice travel companion because this is the lid to the kettle itself and then this fits on top of it. And if this didn't collapse, you would have too much space and that would make this container even bigger. So I really like the way that they did this. And speaking of the kettle system, so how this basically works is you put this on the stand, you hit the power button, it's gonna light up around it and then it's gonna start to boil the water inside. It's gonna do a small beep, and then when the white light goes off, that's how you know your water is done and it is ready to go. It's a very simple, just fits right on there kind of thing. I will say that what they have done is you don't wanna grab the spout because this thing gets super hot. Right? I think it boils to like 205 degrees, right? So it does get a little, little spicy in the kitchen, if you know what I mean. They have these nice little grooves on the side of the kettle, and these are basically your handles for pouring and it honestly works super well with this again with the silicone around everything it keeps you from having to worry about any kind of handle or anything like that and you've got full control full motion control of this and I know it's a weird thing to go into detail about but again one of the things to stress is that 
People really don't have to worry about the littlest of things of what you're bringing. If you know that making this cup of coffee is not only going to be enjoyable, but it's going to be easy, it's going to be simple, and you don't have to worry about learning yourself, you don't have to worry about, you know, grabbing a certain handle and having to pour it a certain way. Everything about this just has this nice flow to it, man. Just like a flow that just makes it easy to use, fun to use. I really enjoy using it. That's another big highlight. But it's just, it's simple. And I think the simplicity of it is what makes it such a great travel companion. But that's basically how the kettle works and you just do the pour over coffee method, right? You get the nice little coffee lid for the steam to come out. And it's, it's a really basic, simple setup. I think it's super easy to use. I think it's super fun to use. And I think that overall, if you're an avid coffee drinker or a tea drinker and you want to bring something like this, I think this is 100% totally worth it. The other thing that PAX comes with is this big guide, brew guide for the PAX coffee kit, right? So one of the things is inside of this kettle. So one of the things is inside this kettle, you see those lines right there. You can see that you have four different lines to choose from. They suggest you go to the middle line. I've been going to the third line um, from the bottom. So the third, second, third line from the third line from the bottom is what I've been filling up to. And I've had plenty of water to completely fill up this, uh, this coffee cup. I found that if I go to that, that extra line, a little bit more than what they suggest, um, I get a little bit more coffee out of it. And for me, that's just how I like to do it. If you don't want a whole lot of coffee, you want it to be a little bit stronger, then I would go to the second line from the bottom. And that is your basic fill line there. I just think that overall, this is such a weirdly thoughtful thing. Um, you know, Malcolm over at PACT, I've seen this a lot in just like following him on Instagram and just kind of knowing a little bit about him, seeing some interviews, seeing him with the, the Indiegogo for the packed bag that they came out with. Um, he just, he's a really careful planner when it comes to his travel. He's a really good traveler. I know it's like weird to think that you can be good at traveling, but like he's done a lot of effort and a lot of thought and a lot of research into the products that his company is making. And I think it really shines through not only on the backpack or the duffel even, but just the fact that they were able to break away from the normal stuff that their company makes, which is bags and makes something like this coffee kit. And it's just a phenomenally perfect travel companion. It, it truly is because the way that everything just kind of fits together, in here right even the thoughtfulness of the the pull tab fits through the lid of the coffee mug and then that fits in there and then that fits on top and then this fits in here and then it all you know and then this fits on the bottom and then it all fits back into the case and you've also got your spoon and it doesn't take up any extra room and then you have a spot for your coffee filters i don't know it's just it's a really thoughtful thing to create but also to perfect and the fact that it works so well says a lot about how they do things. So I guess the whole point of this is if you're looking for a good travel companion, you're a big coffee drinker, you just, you need a setup like this because you're gonna know if this, maybe you're not a coffee drinker, but you're like, oh, I could use that for this. You totally could. Maybe you need it for, I don't know, other things. If you're the kind of person that goes camping in your car, you have a converter and you're like, I don't really know how to make coffee. And I don't really wanna make it the other way. You could, this will work with a power inverter on your, on your vehicle. I've got one that just plugs into my you know, cigarette outlet and everything, I can use it that way. It works really well. I think that um, just bringing this whole kit, even if it was just to boil your water some, somehow, you know, somewhere else, some other way, this is still gonna work perfectly in the sense of having a good compact coffee maker. So overall, you know, this is a it's a, it's it's a good coffee maker, man. Like I actually just like using this at my house more than my cure right now because it's just it's so easy and simple, it doesn't take up a lot of room and Honestly, like I said, it's just kind of a joy. It puts a little bit more of a joy into making coffee. You know, maybe you're not a big coffee drinker and that's fine. I'm really not, but lately I've been like, I can't wait to make my cup of coffee because this is actually fun to use. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this coffee maker, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. Um, email me, odiematthewsbags at gmail.com if you want to see more videos, photos, anything like that, or just have a conversation. If you want suggestions, lists, my accessories that I bring with me, anything like that, shoot me an email, let's have a conversation, I'll help you out. Uh, follow me on Instagram, od underscore Matthews. I only plug this because I like to put things up to the vote on my story, and I like you guys to have a little bit more of a say, you know, what videos come out when and when I record. I try to do that at least once a week so that we can have a little bit more interaction that way. Uh, if you could, leave this video a like, subscribe if you want more nonsense, I really appreciate it. Appreciate all of you for subscribing and helping and supporting this channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you again to Pact, the team, Emma especially, and Malcolm, sending this over, giving me the chance to review it, completing my Pact uh, product 
light up, which maybe now I'll have to do like a, um, we're traveling in November, I'm trying to figure out what bag to, to get, I'm trying to get a new one to take, maybe we'll just take all the pack stuff and do a video, do a travel vlog using all the pack stuff, or who knows, I'm thinking about maybe a nomadic Peter McKinnon bag, I'm trying to get my hands on that, um, I'm gonna have to pay for it though, because they don't give them out to small channels like mine, which is fine. I'm kind of like this close to just being like, let's just buy it and use it in November. So I think I'll put that up to the vote. Who knows? Uh, but seriously guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking. And um, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time.